Optifine Plus Fabric. How do you install it? Well, you're going to be using OptiFabric in order to do it. This is a basically bridge mod that takes Optifine and allows it to work with the Fabric Mod Loader. So let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below that will take you here. And this is our in-depth guide on how to download and install Optifine with the Fabric Mod Loader. Kind of goes over everything you need in a text format. But once you're here, just go ahead and click on the yellow Download OptiFabric button. That takes you to the OptiFabric download page where you want to come to the right-hand side and scroll down to the 1.19 section. Under Minecraft 1.19, just click on the orange download button to the right of this file, and after a few seconds, the download will begin. Now, you may need to keep this file or save it depending on your browser. On Google Chrome, you're going to keep it in the bottom left. On Firefox, you're going to save it in the center of your screen. Now, once you're done with that, we need to download Optifine because Optifine is still required in order to work with Fabric. You just also need the OptiFabric mod. So, in the description, of course, we have a link to here. This is our in-depth guide on getting Optifine, but once you're here, just go ahead and click on the yellow download Optifine button to be taken to the official Optifine download page. On this page, you want to find the 1.19.2 section, and then come under this and click Mirror next to the version. By clicking Mirror, we pass an ad, we bypass an ad, and it takes you to this page, the official download page for Optifine 1.19.2. Click download here and the download will begin in the bottom left. Just like with OptiFabric, you may need to keep this in the bottom left or save it on Firefox, depending on which browser you're using. There's one more thing we've got to download and that is the Fabric Mod Loader. Also linked in the description, that will take you to a text tutorial on using the Fabric Mod Loader. Once you're here, scroll down to the Download Fabric button. Click that and it will take us to Fabric's official download page. On this page, you want to click on the Download Universal Jar. The reason we're clicking on that and not Download for Windows is because the Download Universal Jar allows us to get our computer set up no matter what to work with jar files in the future for Minecraft. So let's go ahead and click on Download Universal Jar there. And in the bottom left, Fabric will begin downloading. Again, you may need to keep that or save it depending on your browser. We can now go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to move all of this to our desktop just because it's quite a few files and easier to manage that way. Where is it at right now? Well, it's in your downloads folder most likely. And to access that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Open this up, and in here you have Fabric, Optifine, and OptiFabric. Drag and drop these to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, to get started, we're actually going to be looking at the Fabric installer download we have, right? So these should all look like these jar files, and if they don't, I'm going to show you how to fix it in a second, but let's see if we can open these. To do that, right-click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java or if your icons don't look correct, here's what we do. We go to the description down below and we download and install Java for Minecraft mods and servers. Obviously, Optifine, OptiFabric, they are Minecraft mods and we need this version of Java to get it. Once you've got this version of Java, the correct one for Minecraft, you should be able to then open up Fabric. But if you're still having issues, you may need to run the jar fix. And this is going to take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. This will also fix any issues issues you had with your logos not being correct. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That will open up the Fabric installer, and once we're here, we can make sure that 1.19.2 is selected. We also want to make sure that the most recent version of the loader is selected here. That just means you're going to have the most bug fixes as possible. And then go ahead and click Install. Now it's going to go ahead and install and create a profile in Minecraft for Fabric. Once you've got this, you can click OK and close out of the installer. You can also delete the installer file from your desktop. Now it's time to install Optifine and OptiFabric. To do that, you want to open up your Minecraft launcher. And then in the Minecraft launcher, you should have a Fabric installation. Mine is probably going to be automatically selected and yours probably will be too. But if yours isn't, we'll still show you how to fix that and how to get one no matter what. Mine is automatically selected here, but no matter what, you want to click on installations at the top. Now, if you have the fabric loader here, awesome. Skip forward in this tutorial a little bit. But if you don't have fabric loader 119.2, go ahead and click new installation. We can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it fabric optifine 1.19.2. And then for our version drop down box here, we want to scroll down until we find fabric in this drop down box. You may have to scroll down a ways to find it. I've seen it be at the very bottom, but I think it was actually located maybe in here. Nope. One second. Let me find it. There it is. Release fabric loader 1.19.2. So I had to scroll down quite a ways as you can see here to find it, but there it is. Now we want to go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that so we can see once we get in game. Finally, click create and hello everyone. If you skipped forward a little bit, this is where you want to be. Now what we want to do is in the installations tab here, we want to hover over fabric loader. Is the one you created with fabric fabric or the one that's there by default. Doesn't matter. Hover over it and click on the folder that appears. When you click on that folder, it's going to open up this. Now in here, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, I don't either. So let's just go ahead and right click, create a new 
folder, and we can title this folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder, and now all you want to do is take OptiFabric and OptiFine and drag and drop both of them into the mods folder. Again, both OptiFabric and OptiFine should be in your mods folder. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and close out of the mods folder, and we can launch up Minecraft with Fabric. Again, this could be the one you created or the one that's there by default. It doesn't really matter. By the way, if you don't have these here, make sure modded is selected there. Modded is not selected, it won't work. Nevertheless, at this point, OptiFine is opening up with Fabric installed. The only way we'll be able to see this is when we go to the video tab once Minecraft's open because uh, there's no mod section in Fabric and something that's actually really interesting, Optifine doesn't show up in the mod section anyway. So even if there was a mod section in Fabric, it wouldn't be there anyway. By the way, Stay True is a Minecraft resource pack. I'll show you that real quick because I need to disable that because no one likes things looking different than what I'm doing them. So when things look different, we're doing the tutorials that can cause issues. So it's going to resource packs and remove that resource pack really fast. But what you're all here for is proof that Optifine is working. So let's go ahead and click on options, video settings, and there it is. The easiest way to see is we have shaders here. We also have the rest of our Optifine settings. We can jump in to a single player world real fast or a multiplayer, doesn't matter, but we can jump to a world really fast and bada bing bada boom we will have shaders installed with fabric you can add other fabric mods into your mods folder and play with them so for example if you wanted another fabric mod you could easily add it into your mods folder right alongside optifine and it would work look at how beautiful these shaders are nevertheless thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video my name is nick and i am out peace